let us discuss this example so in this video we are going to discuss two examples in which we are going to find the value of limits using series okay let us start to do so we have to find its value so what will i do limit z tends to 0 i am going to use the series of e raised to z i hope you are familiar with this 1 plus z plus z square by 2 factorial plus z cube by 3 factorial plus and so on minus 1 divided by z so if you solve the bracket what will happen this 1 and minus 1 will get cancelled to each other let us do that so this is equal to limit z tends to 0 z plus z square by 2 factorial plus z cube by 3 factorial plus and so on divided by z 1 and minus 1 will get cancelled see for each term we can divide separately by this z so what will happen definitely z will get cancelled z upon z will get cancelled we will have 1 plus if you divide second term by z 1 z will cancel 1 z will be there right plus if you divide third term by z z will, will be cancelled z square by 3 factorial and so on so now if you apply the limit that z will be numerator only so we can directly put z is equal to 0 so what will happen 1 plus this one will be 0 next one will be 0 see in each remaining terms definitely powers of z will be there so if i put z is equal to 0 all terms will be 0 and we will have okay only 1 so the value of this limit is 1 let us discuss one more example but before that make a screenshot of it let us discuss this second example so here we have to find the limit z tends to 0 sin z upon z here also i am going to use the series of sin z let us see what will happen limit z tends to 0 you are familiar with the series of sin z it is z minus z cube by 3 factorial plus z raised to 5 by 5 factorial minus z raised to 7 by 7 factorial and so on divided by z see we can divide each term by z separately see what will happen if i divide separately limit z tends to 0 z z will get cancelled definitely minus z cube is there 1 z will get cancelled z square by 3 factorial z raised to 5 is there 1 z will get cancelled z raised to 4 by 5 factorial minus z raised to 6 by 7 factorial in this way we can write if you apply the limit all z is in numerator so you can directly put value of z is equal to 0 so 1 will be there since it is constant but for all remaining terms you will have zeros minus 0 plus 0 minus 0 okay in this way so what is the final answer 1 so value of this limit is 1 okay thank you bye bye